Hello students and welcome to your English language class. Today in this class we will be taking up a lot of examples so that you can understand reported speech in a better way and we will also be doing certain exercises related to reported speech. Now uh, there is one more general rule which says that a passage in the direct form sometimes consists of several types of sentences enumerated above. In such an event, a new reporting verb as suited to the reported speech is added with every sentence. Okay, now uh, we know that whenever we are converting direct speech into its indirect form, we always um, change the reporting verb according to the type of sentence. But in case two or more sentences are of the same type, there is no need of adding a new reporting verb. Okay, so if a sentence is consisting of two or more um, sentences and of similar type, then you need not write reporting verb again and again. Okay, take for instance the following example. The teacher said, why are you late today? Mohan, have you no watch or clock in your house? It is thus that you want to make up your deficiency. So here you can see that the teacher has asked three questions in a row. Okay. So in this passage all the sentences are interrogative ones and therefore we will render it in indirect form by adding the reporting verb asked or inquired of with the main verb. Okay. So we will not add reporting verb uh, asked or inquired of again and again with every sentence because all the sentences are interrogative sentences and the teacher has asked the same uh, questions to the same person that is Mohan. So we will just write the teacher asked Mohan why he was late that day, comma, if he had no watch or clock in his house and if it was thus that he wanted to make up his deficiency. Okay, So this is the way in which you are supposed to write a passage in its indirect form okay and here are some illustrative examples given to you first is Ram said I write a letter so uh, its indirect form will be Ram said that he wrote a letter Rina said I'm listening to music so Rina said that she was listening music Pranav said I have not completed my homework so Pranav said that he had not completed his homework the gardener said um, I have been watering the plant since morning. The gardener said that he had been watering the plant since morning. Kunal said I bought a pen. So Kunal said that he had bought a pen. She said I shall not sing a song. She said that she would not sing a song. Raja said he may come tomorrow. Raja said that he might come the next day. Okay. So just uh, read all these examples carefully so that you can understand how to change direct form into its indirect form of speech. Now, uh, Preeti said, I must go home at once. Preeti said that she had to go home at once. The teacher said, the earth revolves around the sun. Now, this is a universal truth, so it will remain just the same. The teacher said that the earth revolves around the sun. He said, will you come tomorrow? He asked whether you would come the next day. He said, will you stop disturbing me? No. He asked me if I would stop disturbing him and said that I would not. He said, bravo, you have brought victory. He applauded him, saying that he had brought victory. Varsha said to Vabhav, don't play till late evening. Varsha forbade Vabhav to play till late evening or Varsha advised Vabhav not to play till late evening. Now remember, if the reported speech is a negative, use forbade in place of say. Okay? Said ki jaga aap kya likhenge? Forbade. Okay? So just keep these rules in mind whenever you are asked to change direct speech into its indirect form. Okay, here are some more examples. He said honesty is the best policy. He said that honesty is the best policy. He said the sun rises in the east. He said that the sun rises in the east. 
Rakesh said, I am an early riser. Rakesh said that he is an early riser. She said, God is omnipresent. She said that God is omnipresent. The teacher said the First World War started in 1914. The teacher said that the First World War started in 1914. Now Ramu said, I saw a lion in the uh, forest. So Ramu said that he had seen a lion in the forest. Satish said to me, I am very happy here. Satish told me that he was very happy there. Okay, here changes into there. Okay, Satish said to me, I am very happy here. Satish told me that he was very happy there. He said, I can do this work. He said that he could do that work. Renu said to me, I was washing the clothes. So, Renu told me that she had been washing the clothes. She said, I am not well. She said that she was not well. Okay. And he said to Sita, I have passed the test. He told Sita that he had passed the test. Okay. Ab jab uh, ek subject hai or ek object hai, then we will use told. Okay. In place of said. So, he told Sita. Now, uh, these are some interrogative sentences. I said to him, where are you going? So, I asked him where he was going. He said to me, will you go there? So, he asked me if I would go there. My friend said to Deepak, have you ever been to Agra? My friend asked Deepak if he had ever been to Agra. I said to him, did you enjoy the movie? I asked him if he had enjoyed the movie. I said to her, do you know him? I asked her if she knew him. She said to me, open the window. So these are your imperative sentences. Okay. Imperative sentences you know when you order or command or request someone. So she said to me, open the window. She ordered me to open the window. The captain said to the soldiers, attack the enemy. The captain commanded the soldiers to attack the enemy. I said to him, leave this place at once. I told him to leave that place at once. The teacher said to the students, listen to me attentively. The teacher asked the students to listen to him attentively. The principal said to the peon, ring the bell. The principal ordered the peon to ring the bell. Okay. Now, here are some sentences which you have to uh, turn these following sentences into indirect speech. Okay. So, these are your interrogative sentences only. So, I hope you will apply all the rules which you have learned till now. Okay. And you will be able to do these on your own. And this one is complete the sentences in reported speech. Okay. So, you've been given the beginning of the sentence in its indirect form and you have to complete these sentences according to the direct uh, form of speech given to you. Okay. So, I hope you have understood all about reported speech because we have discussed it in and out and we have discussed it thoroughly. And if you still have got any doubt, you can ask me in the group. Okay. And you have to do all these exercises in your fair notebook in your grammar notebook and submit your homework by three o'clock tomorrow and thank you for watching this video